I guess the question I've heard the most the last few weeks, we're, we've got unbelievable stories. We know the water works. Now there's people, ever, how many has the internet here? Everybody got internet? They're going on the internet and they're finding units, supposedly just like ours, that's half the price. How do we justify this enagic, uh unit is as good or better? Or how do we confront this question that we're all being faced with? And you know, we're convinced that this water is wonderful, but what do we do about the competition? It's a good question, Joan, and uh, it's not necessarily a quick answer that I can give you, but I can tell you my experience um, and, and what I've learned. I saw this technology, not knowing the name brands or anything, but I saw this technology several years ago. And when I came back home to the States, I bought a unit. I went out and I found the only one I could find at the time, and, and I bought it. And I set it up and I started using it and I was sick to realize that what it did and what I had seen uh, the other unit in Japan do was night and day different. And I didn't know exactly how to test for all of the things that we've talked about today at that time, but it didn't take too long to start learning some things. And uh, so I wrote it off as, as a... Uh, as a waste of money, as a learning experience. I've had a few of those in my life um, in business and with people and, and, and even with vehicles and different things. So I was, okay, I made a mistake uh, because the company wouldn't take it back, of course. And uh, so I started looking for other machines and I found some other machines. And actually, a couple of years ago, I bought the machine that almost everybody that goes on the internet is being told is, is bigger, better, and better than ours for half the money. Let me just tell you my experience with that machine. I bottled up a bunch of the water, I took it to my office, and I started having patients take the water. I personally was taking the water. One of the things that I have done for years and years is I've, I've put green powders, green drinks up. I've been using green drinks to alkalize with for years, and I've had a lot of patients doing it because it really helped them. Uh, you're getting a lot of concentrated vegetables into the body. Well, I'd put it in this water from this machine, shake it up, drink it, drink some of it. I'd put it in a, a liter bottle usually, set the rest down on my desk, come back two, three, five minutes later, and 90% of the green powder was on the bottom of the glass, on the, of the container. So you'd shake it up again, then you'd drink it down, you'd set it down, and this would go on until it was empty. When I first saw a Nagix machine, I said, I'm gonna try the water. Well, I got some water, filled my bottle up, and I thought, man, I haven't had my greens in a while. So I grabbed some greens, threw it in there, shook it up, drank some of it, set it down, listened to the speaker that was talking, picked it up, and there was no greens on the bottom of the bottle. I thought I'd picked up the wrong bottle, actually, so I was looking around, and finally, it had my name on it. And I went, well, that, that's it. So I didn't have to shake it. I drank it again, and I went, well, I can taste a difference. In fact, it's tasted smoother and sweeter, uh, just, just fresher. Well, the whole time I drank that first bottle, the greens didn't end up on the bottom of the container. And I knew then there was something special about this water, and I continued to listen to them. Uh, and you have to understand, when I was first introduced to this machine a year ago, the whole meeting was in Japanese, and I was one of about a handful of white people there trying to figure out what was going on. <laughs> and it was a little challenging. And they had, had somebody that was speaking a little pidgin English once in a while trying to explain what was going on, and, 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 and they call it interpreting, but I'm pretty sure that that's really not the, the true meaning of interpreting. Um, and what happened is, um, I just had this impression that there was something really amazing about this water just from that. So I bought a machine then. I can tell you that for the first 90 days, I kept both machines on the counter, and I would play with both waters, because I, I really wanted to understand this. And the competitor machine, what I noticed was that I would put the, I'd make the water and I would let it sit there in a gallon jug for a day and then I would test the pH and the pH of the competition's machine was back down to seven. Ours was still 
I went, wow, that's interesting. And then, I, and of course, the microclustering aspect, it just it wasn't happening. It's microclustering which caused the greens to fully absorb into the water and stay in suspension. But the other thing I wanted to know is it was about the antioxidants because they they claimed theirs was extremely good and uh, and so I put an ORP meter in. and I, and I will tell you that no matter what machine you have, the longer the water is out of the machine, the less the ORP will be. It, it's just like putting food out on the counter. Over time, it will break down. You'll lose some of the antioxidant properties. But ours was staying significantly up there. My water coming out of my well at home, when I would first do it, was coming out at about a minus 670. Minus 100 is what green tea is, just to give you some perspective. This was minus 670. A day later, it was like minus 520. The competitors came out at minus 120, and the next day was positive 240, positive 250, positive 260. I, I just kept doing it. I'm like, whoa, no wonder I didn't notice anything on this water. So I did this for two or three months. Now, I have to admit, I had been burned so badly by some of these other companies that I really didn't tell anybody about this at first, except just myself. But I took two or three gallons to work, and if somebody would come in that was really in trouble, like an asthmatic or something, I'd give them a little water and I'd just kind of watch. And I had a young lady come in who had irritable bowel syndrome. And when she came in, literally she was holding onto her abdomen like this, pressing because she hurt so bad. And her, her face was as white as your shirt, coach. And literally, she sat down and she started to cry. And I said, I thought maybe she'd been in an accident or something. I said, are you okay? And she said, well, I've got this IBS and it's just killing me. And I'm home from college and I just can't, I can't get comfortable. She couldn't even fill out my intake form. So I sat down and I started filling out the intake form and I gave her a glass of this water. And by the time she drank the water, and I'd got the intake form filled out, and I'm not that slow at that, I can probably do it in three minutes, um, she wasn't holding her stomach anymore. I said, you're feeling a little better? And she says, this is the first time I haven't hurt in months. I'm not even hurting. In three or four minutes. I mean, now, I would not have bet on that, but, you know, I, again, I was just learning how to use the unit. I was experimenting, and she got my attention. I went, wow, that's, that's pretty amazing. So then I started putting everybody on the water to see what would happen, just like I had all the, water, all the other machines. I had never had anybody come back to get more water from the other machines, and everybody was coming back wanting more water from this one. So I come to realize there's a couple things in America that we can do. Uh, we can put anything that we want to about anything we want to say on the Internet, and nobody's out there policing it. And the companies that are selling some of these competitor units are out there selling them because we're out here having meetings like this educating people. They're simply sitting there on the internet trying to get people to buy them because they're cheaper. Now, I, I don't want you to take this as racist, but I want you to understand where I'm coming from. Our machine is made by a Japanese company. It's approved by their equivalent of the FDA, the, health, the Ministry of Health and Welfare. It's in their hospitals. The Japanese people are very integrous people. I can tell you that if you were in Japan and I was talking to you about this machine and then Joan came and talked to you about it a week later, you would always buy it from me. That's how they are. Even if I was charging you twice as much for it, by the way. Because that's the Japanese way. They're, they're high integrity and they're very loyal. But they have some neighbors in some other countries, and particularly one called Korea, that's not quite the same. And they, in fact, the Koreans, I, I want you to know this, if you ask the Koreans, they'll all tell you the same thing. They don't buy Korean. Koreans are the great copycats. They're the great imitators, but they're not the great inventors or the great originators. And I don't mean this in a racist way, and I apologize to anybody if I'm hurting your feelings, but that's my experience in business and in traveling. And one of the things that's interesting to me is, recently I was uh, staying, I don't even remember where I was at to be honest with you, but I was in a hotel, and I just flipped the TV on to see if I could catch some news and weather, and there was a commercial on, and they had a car manufacturer, a Korean car manufacturer, and they had a Lexus. 
and the Korean was trying to tell you that the, their car was equivalent to this Lexus and it was about a third the money or half the money, something like that. And I remember thinking to myself, it just, it's everywhere. Doesn't matter where you're at, they're trying to sell you something that, that is, is not the same and try to tell you that it, it holds up to the gold standard. The gold standard is the Lexus. I guarantee you, if you had to drive those two cars for 10 years, you'd be glad you bought the Lexus. You're gonna use this water to help change your health, to help change your life. And I promise you that you will not waste your money if you buy the Lexus, because it will produce day in and day out much better, higher quality water, and it will do the job day in and day out. It keeps doing it. I've been making 60 to 70 gallons a day with mine for over a year. It's still kicking out exactly the same type of water I did the first day. I'm excited because it still works. And so I could stand here and get into a lot of technical things about it. I'm just going to say a couple of little things that they don't bother to tell you. Um, one of those is they have to put coral calcium in their filters in order to get their pH up. And the pH is very unstable. As I said, a day later, it's probably going to be back around 7. Uh, so it's a very artificial thing. It doesn't create the changes. I, I promise you that if you had 100 distributors in the room, 100 people using that machine, you would not have two of them up here talking like all of these wonderful people have done today because they're not getting those kinds of examples. I, they're just not having that experience. I've had that. I mean, I've tried it on hundreds of people, and, and it doesn't happen. So the difference really is we're trying to compare the gold standard to something entirely different. It's like trying to compare apples to grapefruit. And, and so don't get caught up in that just to try and save a few dollars. If you're that hard up for money, keep it. Save your money and then buy the right machine when you got your money, but don't throw it away because what you'll do is you'll end up doing what I did. And if you were to come home with me right now and go down into my basement, I haven't counted, but I think there's either seven or eight of these different micro-ionizing generators sitting on the shelf down there because they don't work. And so don't, don't throw your money away is all I can say. It's, um, I, I know that, that it's hard to take somebody's word for it. You want to do your due diligence and you want to you buy wisely and you want to get a good bargain, but I don't believe there's anything on the market that even produces anything close to this and you certainly won't get the results. And their machines, as of right now, as near as I know, do not make the strong acid and the strong alkaline water. Well, I've already come to the conclusion that those are just as important as the drinking water. I can wash my clothes, I can wash my food, I can, I can get rid of the bacteria, I can clean the floors. I mean, we had a lady just last night telling us how she'd cleaned her floor and, and with the strong alkaline water. And, and it got a 40-year-old wood floor cleaner than she'd ever been able to clean it. She thought she was going to have to refinish it. She's so excited. She says her husband came home from work, thought she had put down new floors. <laughs> so, you know, it'll save you 4000 bucks right there in hardwood floors. <laughs> so just one more thing that you wouldn't think about. We had a guy who rents apartments. He went into one of these apartments after the renter left, and he said he thought he was going to have to have somebody come in and completely put new... Um, tile in the bathroom in the shower because it was so ugly and grungy and he said he remembered what I'd said on one of the calls so he got out his spray bottle and he just started spraying this strong water on the, the strong alkaline water on the on the tile 15 minutes later he comes back sprays some more and then he starts wiping it off he says everything wiped off including the grout he was blown away that's the kind of things that we're seeing and it's just the way this stuff works and we could stand up here all day and I could tell you story after story about patients and, and people that I've heard from, but um, the competition is misleading you. And all I can say is, going back to the example of the Lexus, I, I guarantee you, you'll never hear Lexus ever once compare themselves to the Korean model. <laughs> That's true, Dave. What about the plates? Is there some difference in our plates in the competition? So I've read something about that. Tremendous difference. Depending on the machine you get, uh, you will get anywhere from three to seven plates in your machine. The, the top of the line consumer use, unit is this SD501. It has seven large plates. They're about three to four times larger than the competitors. 
And these are made of special expensive metals that will, will last a long time, titanium and platinum. These metals, and by the way, the industry, no one, no one else has seven plates in a machine. They just they can't figure out how to do it. We have seven in our, in our top of the line consumer unit and that means that as the water passes through the system, there are more plates exposing more electrons and protons to the water, which elevates the antioxidant properties. Now, you remember me earlier saying oxidation equals aging? Well, the more antioxidants, the less aging. Now, think about it. What's that worth to you? What are you spending now trying to stay young? <laughs> Do you see what I'm saying? It's like... This is the real McCoy. This really works. So don't cheapen on yourself to the point that you're not getting the full benefit. Get the benefit. And the plates are, are much, much bigger, many times bigger than any of the competitors that I've taken apart. I'm not going to stand here and tell you I've looked at them all because I don't know that I have. But I think I own most of them. And, and, they, and I've taken all of them apart. In fact, most of them will quit making alkaline water after about two or three weeks. And when you take them apart, the plates are so corroded they, they can't produce, they can't throw electrons off anymore. They don't self-clean, ours does. Now a couple of the newer competitor units do self-clean, at least they say they do. Um, I haven't bothered to buy another one, but I know Enagic did, and I know Enagic engineers uh, at, at our last 6A meeting stood up and told us and showed us a whole bunch of pictures, and they said, you know, after a very short time of using the machines, they are so unstable that, that they wouldn't touch the water. They said they personally wouldn't, wouldn't even drink it. I'm not sure exactly what all that in, includes and means, but I do know these are pretty smart guys, and I'm willing to trust them on that one because when I saw the plates and how corroded they were, they can't possibly be doing what they're designed to do. It took me four hours on my Jupiter machine to clean the plates the first time I took it apart. I had to do it at least once a month or it wouldn't make water at all. I mean, it, it'd make water, but it stunk. It, I think it was actually putrefied water coming through it. And as soon as I got the plates clean, you know, it seemed like it was making alkaline water again, and, but it never did make microionized water. And the ORP, I didn't have a way to test it back then. Um, I didn't, I had a meter, but it never seemed to work right now. I know why it wasn't really making ORP water. And, uh, so those are just a few things that I can share with you, Joan. I, I don't know if that really answers your question, but... That helps a lot, Dave.